Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's your buddy Anime Guy, and in today's video, we got Bad Plastic Surgery by Degenerosity. When I was young and there was nothing on TV, and when I say nothing, I mean it. I can relate to this. Like before, like before my mama got like the Roku, the Roku TVs we got. I could fucking relate to the fact that uh, there was nothing on TV. Like when I used to come walk to my grandma's house. Who has like fucking special table or some shit like that? I used to always wait on that fucking adventure time to come on because I was like the only thing I fucked with. And yes, I did. I and yes, I did and still do fuck with anime. You cannot take anime out of me. I'm just that type of nigga who fucks with anime. If you feel me. Nothing. Not even House Hunters was on. I would either go on YouTube, probably rewatching a video I've seen a thousand times, or playing on my DSi and watching flip note videos. And if I was really, really bored, I would change it to a specific channel. But only if a certain show was on. And this channel is one of the worst channels that the human species has ever conceived. It's probably some shit I've never heard of. I'm telling you, it's, an, it's a channel I've never fucking heard of. I change it to the E Network, but only if. Never mind, I have heard of it. The show, and I have seen it. Oh, Botch was on a TV show about plastic surgery. Usually, the episodes would be about a person who once worked on on a body part they don't feel the most confident about. Like, oh, I've always felt insecure. Hold up, why was that man dressed like an anime girl? Why was that man dressed like an anime girl? And why is he floating around a picture of Ken fucking kind of keep from the Tokyo Ghoul manga? Care about the wrinkles on my knees. So I'm here today so Dr. Dubro can remove my knees. Then the patient and her family will tell a sad backstory about her. All my daughter's life, the kids will... Trash ass backstory. I can already tell you they copied anime with that backstory bullshit. Let's be honest. Backstory in the anime fucking take over every single anime. Like, everybody has to have a fucking sad-ass backstory. Why? Bully her because of her knees. That's By the way, if you have ever been bullied in your life, raise your hand. I can kind of relate since I did kind of sit in the group with niggas who, bull who fucked with me. And it was that one nigga who said, he sit directly across from me, but he sat next to the dude who sat across from me. And he always pissed me the fuck off. I don't know what it was that rubbed me the wrong way about that fat fuck. And I'm not and I'm not trying to be transphobic. But I'm sorry. He just he just rubbed me the wrong way. Now usually when it comes to, you know, big rotund people, I run to give him a kiss. But that guy just he just rubbed me the wrong way every single day at school. But she always wore knee pads. Then Dr. Terry Nigga, is she a wrestler? What is she wearing knee pads for? Comes to save the day, reaching. Nigga, let her make her wear pants instead of shorts. The fuck is wrong with you? Not a hand to help with the surgery. He shows us how's it done. Overwatch. By the way, guys, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Zion Forever. That is Zion Forever. Z I O N, the number four. E V E R E double T. It means two T's, by the way. And, uh, we're back. He does his thing. Uh, speaking of it, hopefully we get back to Twitch. Not even hopefully. Hopefully my goddamn computer comes because my last one broke. So we really got to get back to Twitch. And when I check my Twitch, did you know my last fucking video? Was like, Man, this shit is gone. And then he removes all the problems for a low, low, cheap price. Of 200,000. But of course you'll pay for it. Anything. 200,000? For simple knee wrinkles? What the fuck? Am I tripping? Or is that too much? Need to get these knees out of her. And at the end, the surgery will always be a success. No more knee pads so for Missy over here. You. That was basically the format of an episode of Botched. It was very entertaining. This show did pique my interest in plastic surgery a little bit. Cause well, it ain't peaking mine. You want to know what peaks my interest? The hub. The hub peaks my interest. The hub. H anime, aka hentai. And that's it. And when that's not peaking my interest, actual anime.
regular time, like no return time was piquing my interest. Fucking Adventure Time is bright. It's piquing my interest again. Because as a kid, I didn't really get why people got it. I was taught to love and appreciate your natural beauty. And if you don't like the way you look, don't get surgery. Try your best with makeup or wear a mask. I don't know. But whatever you do, don't get plastic surgery. I thought that as a kid. But now it's a different story. I now know that some people are just ugly. Like, not everybody's born beautiful. I've seen myself in the mirror. Some of us just got the shit end of the stick. And I also respect the courage it takes to go through surgery. Like, I can't imagine going to a doctor's office telling them to change my face. I don't trust like that. I already... Hell, I don't trust that doctor too, nigga. I could go in looking like fucking, uh, uh, shit. Kaneki, after he became white hair, white hair, Kaneki, fuck that shit. Just white hair, Kaneki. And I can come out looking like fucking Jason from fucking Tokyo Ghoul. Look like that, I'm going goblin mode. And I'm afraid that a dog. Goblin Slayer. There's gonna make me look even worse than I do now. What if after the surgery I'm gonna be looking like Doofenshmirtz or Phineas or. That was not Dr. Doofenshmirtz, my bro. I know. I was forced to watch Phineas and Fur with my sister by my grandma quite a lot. By the way, I'm not the biggest Disney fan, and yes, I know they got bleach under their belt now. So I'm fucked, kind of. But let's be honest. We all have been to the point where we've been fucked. Fur or any of those people on that show, they all hug. By the way, that was Odoo for my hero. He who looked like Doofus Murphs. I'm afraid of that. And that's why it takes courage to go through plastic surgery. But sometimes plastic surgery could be bad. Very, very bad. Some people get plastic surgery because they feel insecure, but for the wrong reasons. Like they don't have a fat enough ass. I.E. BBLs. Now, I'm not judging you. For real though. Like, all females who get plastic surgery just to get a bigger ass? That's stupid. That is fucking stupid. What is so... Why are you doing all that over an ass, bro? Do nobody care about what your ass look like but you? But fucking you, bro. I can care less about what your ass look like, what your tits look like. I can care fucking less. I Like I said, I watch The Hub. I watch H anime, aka hentai. So why, so why are you? Eh, it's such a fucking problem that your ass is small, that your ass is not big, bro. If that ain't the stupidest shit I heard, bro. But this year I'm still spend fat like fucking at home, bro. If you got or want a BBL, but I will in a second. I just don't get it. Unlike some other surgeries, you don't need to pump fat in your butt to get a bigger ass. You can always do squats, make leg day every day. You know, there's alternatives. Also, having a little booty isn't something you should feel insecure about. It's that chrome dome you call forehead. Goddamn, mega mind. Bro, actually, if you got a fat ass forehead, you need to cover that stuff immediately. Like, my forehead is actually small. And surprisingly... I hope it stays that way. I hope I don't grow for it to just to become fat as hell. But hey, if you can rock it, that's great. It doesn't matter if your booty is fake as long as it looks good and edible. Like Iggy Azalea's is fake, obviously, but I still... <gasps> it's just that I've seen some Willy Wonka looking ass asses and I can't help but think, why? Why do this to yourself in the first place? I know it's hip to have a big ass, but when it look like this, you gotta know you built like an ant. I just don't get BBLs. I feel like it's a problem that you can solve in like... Frodo, he's, spe he's spinning fucking facts, bro. It don't matter. A monk with a little bit of exercise and squats. Same with breast implants. Like, just get fat. Then you can swing some things around. But a surgery, I would never. Fuck. Pro the best cheated ass. Swing some things around. But a surgery, I would never, ever understand. Even if Albert Einstein tried explaining it to me. Fucking facts. I can never ex. One thing I can never fucking get from Albert Einstein was fucking wait. Wasn't Albert Einstein with the math? 
bullshit and stuff? Let me know, because I don't remember if it was Albert Einstein or not, but you got to remember, I'm only 15, so it kind of hurts not to know if it's Albert Einstein or not. But let's be honest. If it's Albert Einstein, then I'm fucked, because this man put ladders and shit. Like, math? Math was already becoming hard. No. Right with multiplication, it was easy, but we would put that the vision and that extra bullshit on it, it became difficult. And I just fucking quit math altogether. And I didn't want to do the shit ever again. And I don't want to do it ever day. Ever again. I would still be confused. It's those fake synthetic muscles. I don't think I see someone look good with these done. And I don't think I ever will. They look na- Yours basically there's a video made by a YouTuber named the Ch- named Chisel Adonis. For a promotion called Epic Fighting Championship, I think it's called, where a dude injected oil into his arms to give himself some fucking fake ass biceps, some big ass biceps, just to fight an old man who be who still beat his ass. Nasty, unnatural, weird, just weird looking. Yeah. They walk. In- that was him. For those of y'all who don't know, the dude that you just seen with the tattoo on his chest. The alien tattoo? That was the old man from the vid- from the Chisel of Dunn's video. Around with two big ass tumors in that arm looking like SpongeBob from that one episode. But at least his arms look kinda cool. And just like his arms, I think these things are gonna pop at any moment and start leaking out juice. It's a shame that these guys get it just cause they wanna get ripped quick. Instead of, you know, working out consistently, bro, you can just get a Planet Fitness membership, bro. It's not that hard to get muscle. But instead you went to a doctor to inject stuff that only harms your body to make you look like a freak show. To get these muscles, they inject synthol, alcohol, all this shit that's not supposed to be in your arms, into your arms. And guess what? They start experiencing side effects with this. Some of these guys said that doctors recommended amputation because the effects of those fake ass arms could be deadly. So literally, if you get fake muscles, best case scenario, you look like a dumbass. Worst case scenario, you die a dumbass. There's no benefits to having these. Fucking facts. And these dudes think it looks good. No, that's even worse that you think it looks good. We're not staring because we're impressed with your big muscles. We're staring because you look goofy. You're packing two ball sacks in your arms. Legit, it would be better if you did steroids. Although, when doing it, it would probably shrink your wee-wee. But if you have or thought about getting synthetic fake muscles, there's probably not much there to begin with. So might as well go full zero mode. Last plastic surgery I'd like to talk about is facial or just full on body surgery. That's the worst because you're fucking with your own body for no reason. You have no reason to fucking mess with your body. Easily the most common one because almost every single model slash celebrity you've seen has gotten it. Now, I don't think these are bad surgeries. Sometimes people just have to get rid of that Scrooge McDuck of a nose or want to have the cheekbones of a goddess. It don't really matter to me anyway. Just remember your kids is still going to be hideous, which is a good thing. But what? If- don't ever want to win who you think. Don't ever marry a woman with plastic surgery. That's just, that's because that, let her know, just, if you even see a woman with plastic surgery, fuck all that other shit, just saying, just the same thing, If you even see a woman with plastic surgery, I want you to tell, ask her why she wasted so much fucking money. She, you know what she could have did with that money instead of trying to get plastic surgery? She could have bought her business. She could have started her business. Fuck. Fuck am I even ranting about right now? Fucking Vegeta. If you wanted to go even further beyond with your surgeries, always thinking, I can do better. I can look better. Stacking all of your plastic surgeries on top of each other. Fucking Vegeta to Goku. Because fucking Goku was always whipping his ass. With more work done. And as the result, you come out looking. <laughs> like a monster! Fucking fat. Cartoon characters with crazy ass bodies. 
I mean, it looks good in those cartoons, but transfer that into real life, then you want to go back. Go back. Please stop. This is what taking plastic surgery way too far looks like. And I understand that as long as... Like, I understand you want some big ass titties. But you gotta understand. You're a 3D girl. It ain't gonna look as good. And I say that because the only time that th 3D big ass titties will look good is if they're naturally grown. If they're not naturally grown... They're gonna look fucking horrendous. No am not even being funny. They're gonna look horrendous. Alright, I'm gonna Little fucking horrendous, bro. Cause y'all always try to be like those fucking cartoon characters and anime characters who have the big ass titties. Don't do that. We can afford. Like. Anime characters can afford to have big ass titties because they're a fucking drawing. So nothing, so their titties don't make them look like make them, shit. It don't make them look like a monster. If they're happy with it. It doesn't really matter what I think. Yeah, I agree. But this just don't look right or healthy or good. I give this a not good. Of course, do what makes you happy. But maybe don't post it on the internet so I don't have to see it. I'm at a loss for words, so I'ma just end this video. Plastic surgeries can be good or bad sometimes, and that's what this video chalks up to be. But before I go, there's one more reason on why I would never get plastic surgery. So I read this manga called Homunculus. It's about deep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you have never read the Homunculus manga, then scoot over to a channel called Fukuro Fetus. Who talks about the monk who has a homunculus in minutes video? I think it's what it's called. What he talks about the monk of homunculus. This dude's doing a science experiment trying to see if there's a sixth sense. But who cares about that? The main character who's the lab rat of this experiment is a bum. A crazy one at that. He got in plastic surgery in the past. Before that, he wasn't good looking. After the surgery, though, his life changed. He got a new well-paying job, a nice car, bitches, everything was going well for him. Besides his mental state, he was going crazier and crazier by the day because he doesn't have any meaningful substance to his life no more. Get you guys, if, if you get you something, then make sure life's meaningful, guys. After the surgery. Before, he only had his girl, and that's kind of it. But there was love there. Now, it's just one night stands and money. Who needs that? He gone so off the wall that he started beating his meat, busting in his hand, then swallowing the so it can always be a part of him, never leaving. And that's just... <laughs> he gets... By the way, if you beat your meat with tissue and lotion, I don't get it. What What's the appeal of having tissue rub up against your fucking meat, bro? It's just disgusting, bro. At least you can do is put your actual hands so you can catch it. Fucking throw that shit somewhere and wash your fucking hands. Simple as that. Whereas, if you're a... Whereas, if you fucking, uh, what do you call that shit? What do you call that shit? If you fucking do it with lotion, you're just completely stupid, bro. Lotion isn't doing shit for you. It's just fucking you up. So detached from everything that he quits his job, signs a resignation letter, nuts on the letter, leaves, and starts living in his car. That actually happens. And this is just the dude's backstory before trying to find a sixth sense. That ain't even the main story. And I ain't even gonna spoil anything, but he gets more and more crazy as the chapters go on. And you know what? I blame all of this on the plastic surgery. That's where it all started. If he never got it, he would have been fine. Probably, maybe. Nah, probably. Bunch of bats. Probably not. That's the last Oh, was that Shinji? Was that fucking Shinji? The reason why I would never get it. Very good manga, though. Besides this scene, I, I don't endorse this part. That's kind of all I wanted to say. So, in conclusion, did you wash your ass today? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to fucking subscribe. Don't not forget to subscribe.